It is cold here in Pennsylvania. It is cold. And if you slept in this thing tonight, <laughs> good luck. Now, all kidding aside, it's very doable to sleep in a hammock in very cold weather, single digits, zero degrees. And today I'm gonna to show you how we actually do that. Most people know that the reason you freeze to death in a hammock is something called convection. So the air blowing underneath or coming off that beautiful pond back there blows underneath, it keeps you very, very cold, especially with a hammock like this one has very thin material, so you're gonna get cold super quick. But over quilts and under quilts are something in a hammock world that just totally, totally make a world of difference. Like they're an essential piece of cold weather hammock camping gear. The problem is that a lot of people get confused when it comes to this stuff. It just, it, it seems overwhelming because in a hammock community, there are so many different options from suspension systems to specialized hammocks to over quilts, under quilts, half quilts, all this kind of stuff. All this kind of crazy stuff. I can even probably make up some terms and somebody will think that it really exists. So what my point is, is that we're gonna to try to take away some of that myth. The cold weather capping in a hammock is definitely doable. It could be super comfortable, it could be super fun, and let's just, let's just get after it. So we're gonna start out with this thing. So this is an under quilt. Now, an under quilt looks like a just square piece of sleeping bag material. There's an absolute mess of shock cords and beaners and all kind of stuff on here. Pull tabs, it just makes it so confusing. But it's really easy to set up. And if you set it up right, it works perfect. So here's how we're gonna do this. You're gonna lay out your under quilt first. You're gonna make sure that it is not shaped any strange way. If it is, then you have to look at the manufacturer's um, setup instructions for this. But most of the time, rectangle type shape. Take one end, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna clip it on your continuous loop or right at the end of your hammock if you don't know what a continuous loop is. Whatever you wanna do, do the same thing on the other side. Now at this point, you might be thinking, well, okay, that's it. But there's a couple key factors you wanna think about when you are adjusting this. Biggest mistake people make is that they put it like this, they tighten it down around the bag, and then when they lay in it, they compress all the material. Remember, when you lay in your hammock, your under quilt should be like a feather tickling the bottom of your toes. It should barely be touching you. So if you pull this all real nice and tight and snug against the bottom of your hammock, and then we lay in our hammock, and we get that sag, what we're doing is we're crushing that loft that is in that under quilt, and we lose a lot of its heat value. So the easiest thing to do is get your partner Get your wife, get your husband, get your kids to help you adjust this thing, lay inside. Now the hard thing is if you are like me, you know, I threw my wife in it the first time and I said, all right, lay in there, I adjust it, and then I get in, I'm 100 pounds heavier than her, and next thing you know, it's, it's still not working right. So you need to get yourself in there and you need to adjust this thing appropriately. Make sure that the sides are closed in, that it's barely touching. Once you get that set, then we're gonna set each end. So without anybody hanging in here, you can see really quickly how there is a gap. So just hanging here, I do have some gap, but when I put pressure on here and I lay on the inside of my hammock itself, it comes down and closes this gap up. Again, not super tight, just enough to keep the air out. So adjust the sides with you laying in it and then adjust the ends with you laying in it. If you do that, you're gonna get optimal results from that under quilt. Now the next thing I'm going to admit is something that I seriously struggled with so bad actually purchasing and that is a top quilt. I just always thought, hey, I could just bring a wool blanket in or I can just, I can use a sleeping bag because it looks the same as a sleeping bag. But when I actually bit the bullet and bought myself an over quilt, I love it. So an over quilt looks like a center zip sleeping bag without the zipper opened up and um, it has a foot box and then the rest of it is just opened up. The whole concept behind this is that you have your under quilt underneath you so that's going to keep your backside warm and then you have your top quilt or your over quilt over the top of you so that's going to keep your top end warm. So you're actually creating this sleeping bag with this hammock mixed in the middle there. The second part of the top quilt that actually I think sold me on it and it got me like on page with it is just the ease of using it. You can just ball this thing up in the bottom of your hammock. When you crawl in your hammock at night, it's so easy just to find that foot box and slide your feet in 
and then from there, it's just like a cover. You're just pulling the cover up. It's such a nightmare, and I've done it for so long, and that is use a sleeping bag or a wool blanket, and you're trying to get in this thing, and you're struggling, and you're, you're turning all around, and you can't get it, and it's sliding out from you in the middle of the night. You never have that problem if you have an under quilt and over quilt. It, they just, ah, oh, it is such a game changer, I can't even begin to describe it. Now I'm laying on this thing upside down just to show you, but if I stick my feet down, I'm at the bottom of the bag. So when I crawl in, I could just slide my feet in. It comes up to about knee level. Now ideally, when you're in your hammock, it's gonna be reversed. So when you crawl in your hammock at night, you lay in here, all you need to do is find this foot box, slide your feet in, and then just simply pull the top end up. And that's it, that is a cold weather hammock camp setup. So if you never hammock camped in cold weather and you wanna get into it, this is some very simple, very, very basic information. Again, there is just a sea of information out there and a sea of different products out there for this. But the basics, if you've never seen them before, you never really understood, hey, how do I set up an underquilt or how does an underquilt even work? This is it. This is what's gonna get you through in them cold nights. Under quilts, like anything else, are temperature rated. There's different materials, there's different fills. You're gonna have to look at different manufacturers and they'll normally do a pretty good job explaining on their websites what each one of those things are used for and why you would pick one or the other. And at the end of the day, it's gonna be your decision based on what your needs are out here. This was Dan Wallach of Cold Cracker Bushcraft. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. If you have any other questions, leave them below. I'll try and answer them. If I can't answer them, I'll tell you which hammock guy, manufacturer might be able to answer them and hopefully help you out. So until the next video, stay hanging. <laughs> you like how I changed that up?